Today's project is replacing the front rotors and brake pads on the 2009 Mitsubishi Galant. The owner doesn't remember the last time they were replaced, but judging from the ring on the surface area and the amount of rust, I'll say they're past the expiration date. Now I just finished replacing the axles on this vehicle, so it's only right to do the rotors and brakes while I have them removed. If you want to check out my axle replacement video, I'll leave a link in the description below. So first jack up the vehicle and support it with jack stands. Remove the brake master cylinder cap to prevent pressure buildup when you compress the caliper piston. Then with the 21mm socket, remove the lug nuts from the wheel. Now since I have the front end off the ground and supported with jack stands, I'm going to turn the key to the accessory position so I can move the steering wheel to get better access to the fasteners. Now remove these two 14mm caliper bolts. Wiggle the caliper loose, then use an old brake pad with the C-clamp to compress the caliper piston. Then move the caliper out of the way. On this vehicle, the caliper hooks to the lower strut plate just perfectly. Now remove the two 17mm caliper bracket bolts. The rotor should just slide off at this point, but if it's stuck like this one is, then put two lug nuts back on a couple threads and whack the rotor with the hammer. And spray the hub with brake clean and sand or wipe the surface down with the rag, then apply some anti seize so that the rotor doesn't freeze to the hub again. Now new rotors are packaged with a thin film of grease to keep them from rusting. So you always want to clean off the new rotors before installation. Since the new pads came with hardware, we're going to remove the old ones from the caliper bracket, clean the area off, and install our new hardware. Now's a good time to check the condition of the slider pins. Now they should move freely, but if not, you have to remove them, clean them, and apply grease. Then put the caliper bracket back in place and start the 17 millimeter bolts by hand before tightening them down. Oh, and don't forget to apply grease to the new hardware, both top and bottom. Then apply grease to the back of the new brake pads before installation. Fit your caliper over top and start the 14mm bolts by hand before tightening. Put the tire back on and don't forget to do the opposite side the same exact way. Then put the cap back on your brake master cylinder and you want to pump the brake pedal until it becomes firm so that the pads make contact with the rotor. Then start her up and you're good to go. 